Hello. Hello. Is there Is anyone, anyone down, down there? there? Hi, Ray here. I'm Canadian, eh? So don't mind me if I occasionally talk to you down holes in the ground. But I figured it was about time that I told you a little bit about myself, where I'm from, where I'm going, what you might find on this channel. I originally hail from a little place in the UK called Wensfield. Same origin as Wednesday, named after the Norse god of war, Woden. There was actually a decisive battle fought in my hometown between the Saxons and the invading Danes. The Saxons were victorious, but I like to think that I share some of that Viking bloodline. It was there, in England, that my father introduced me to photography in his attic darkroom. Besides his interest in photography, my father was an entertainer in the vaudevillian tradition. Singer, actor, comedian, magician. And for a while I joined him on the stage, but eventually preferred the other side of the camera. My mother is also a great influence on my life. She is the definition of do-it-yourself. I received my first camera, a Kodak Brownie, as a present for my seventh birthday. I used that camera into my 20s after I emigrated to Canada. Incidentally, this winter is the 50th anniversary of my first adventure in filmmaking. We emigrated to Canada in 1965, and I soon fell in love with the Canadian landscape. I took up climbing in my 20s, and it became my singular obsession. So I shot lots of Kodachrome on those climbing trips, but also I often took along a Super 8 camera for my second foray into filmmaking. I started selling some of my climbing photography and that led to a commercial career. I opened up a small commercial studio in Vancouver, British Columbia. At the same time, I often took to the streets shooting some formal street photography. That now forms the portfolio that I call 80s Vancouver and I sell prints. I spent the latter part of the 80s working in the vast advertising studios of Toronto, shooting everything from snowblowers to barbecues to lingerie. I trust that my time there contributed to the sale of many pink bathroom sets. If I have a resolution for 2019, is to improve the production values of my videos. So look for some tutorials drawn from that quest. I'll tell the stories behind some of my pictures, both vintage and new. And I'll also be sharing some of my adventures from this ragged and beautiful place, British Columbia. If that sounds like something you'd be interested in checking out, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and turn on notifications, and check back for my latest videos. But before I go, I'd like to make a book recommendation, Into the Silence, by the author and ethnobotanist Wade Davis, perhaps better known for his adventures with psychotropic drugs in faraway places. But this is an extraordinarily well-researched book on the early British Everest expeditions, subtitled The Great War, Mallory, and the Conquest of Everest. It really is a story. I think it could be enjoyed by anyone, even people who aren't that interested in mountaineering. It follows the lives of the men who comprised the early Everest expeditions, who also were deeply affected by their experiences in the First World War. Just read it. It's really extraordinary. Cheers. Cheers.